the best weed in the world, maybe right here. <laughs> What's up, folks? Today we are downgrading GTA 4 to patch 7. There's a whole new application that makes downgrading automatic, automated, and a lot easier. And to do that, we're going to make sure that we have the Steam version downloaded somewhere other than our program files. Come on, give me a break. I'm new in this country. And to do that, open up Steam, click on the Steam button, go to Settings, locate your Downloads tab, and then click on the Steam Library Folders button. Once that storage manager pops up, you'll see what drives you have. And traditionally, it wants to install everything on your C drive in your program files. We don't want to do that. So if you have an external laying around like I do and 22 gigs of space, all you have to do is add your drive. Just click on the plus sign at the end of the drive list and then locate your drive. As long as there already isn't a Steam library assigned to it, you can create a new drive. You'll see here, that's what I did with my D drive, and that's where I have my Grand Theft Auto installed. Now we're going to go to the GTA 4 downgrader post on GTA forums, and you want to download the latest version of the downgrader. Now that you've downloaded your downgrader, we need to extract it to somewhere on our hard drive. But before we start downgrading anything, first we're going to back up our original GTA 4 files. We'll do this by launching Steam, clicking Library, locating GTA 4, right clicking it, hitting Properties, look for the Local Files tab, and click Browse. This is going to take us exactly directly to our GTA 4 directory. Make sure you right click the folder and hit Copy. Now we're going to locate a spot on our drive to actually paste our backup GTA vanilla files. We do this just in case we have to revert back to the original files. Now that everything's copied over, let's go ahead and run that GTA 4 downgrader. If you get this warning window, just click the more info button, then click run anyways. Once the downgrader app loads, you'll get this informational screen. When you're done with that, click next. Here we're going to locate the GTA 4.exe. This is the same location as your Steam install. So the same way I showed you how to find your main directory for GTA 4 to copy it, it's the same place we're gonna go to find our GTA 4.exe. Once we have it selected, just go ahead and hit next. Now here's the pivotal part. You can choose 1080 or patch 1070. We're gonna do patch seven because that is actually the version we want to experience mods. Now this is up to you, the radio downgrader. I'm going with the radio downgrader by Sneed because it doesn't add extra files. I don't really listen to the radio that much anyways. So we're just gonna go ahead and click that and go to next. Now we can choose old radio station versus new radio station with old songs. I, again, don't really care too much. So I'm gonna go with the old radio station and just keep it moving. Go ahead, choose what you want and hit next. Now, this is up to you. I've been told that for version 1070, Fusion Fix isn't necessary because Zalika patch actually fixes or addresses a lot of those same issues, but it might be different for 1080. Actually, it is. So go ahead and select the mods from this list or scripts that you desire. I do suggest Z Menu, Zalika patch, X Live if you want to play multiplayer, Steam achievements if you care, and of course, strip to script hook 1070 if you want to apply scripts and mods once you've chosen everything you want go ahead and hit that next button this next step is just asking you to back up your files but see since we already did that you can skip ahead or if you haven't this is your chance to finally do that once you hit download it's going to start downloading all the necessary drives files and dependencies the 1070 needs to run be patient because this process will take some time. So make sure you're paying attention because you're going to get prompts. And on those prompts, you're going to have to make decisions as whether or not to install some necessary dependencies. I don't know anything about save file downgrading, so I'm going to skip that part. This next part is command line arguments. Just go ahead and click on the recommended command line arguments unless you have your own. Einstein. So once you have yours, click next. Now we need to find the amount of VRAM our GPU has. We're going to start off by clicking on the start menu and typing in display settings. 
Once you have your display settings, go ahead and click on the duplicate or extend connected display option. We just gotta get the display panel to open up. Then we're gonna scroll down and go to advanced display settings. There we're gonna go to display monitor info. And here you can see our video RAM that is available. All right, we're just gonna take that number and we're gonna plug that into our video downgrader VRAM text input. Now you think you're out of the park and you think it's all good. Whatever you do, don't hit this because you're probably gonna get a secure launch error, just like that. What you wanna do is go back to your GTA 4 directory, which you just downgraded, and click the playgta4.exe. We now are given the option to start GTA 4. You'll notice we have some different options down here at the bottom than you would see in the latest version. Let's go ahead and load the game up and see what it looks like. All right, so it looks like everything's working, except we need to check our graphic settings. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit start and do just that. We're gonna navigate over to our graphic settings and what on God's green earth is going on with my resource usage. It's saying I'm using more than the allotted video memory I have. Oh shit. That's not right. So I closed the game and opened up my command line text and it appears that I've got too much VRAM for GTA 4 to handle. So I just changed that to 2045, save the file and relaunch the game. If I go back and look at the graphic settings, you'll now see we've got the appropriate amount of video RAM that the game can handle. Now, some people have even suggested, hey, you don't even need to have that in your command line at all. Get rid of the available memory. You let me know how that works out for you down in the comments. Now we're going to take a look at the graphic settings, okay? You, by all means, can do whatever the f you want to do with your graphic settings, but it's suggested to not set anything or everything to very high, especially shadows. I don't know why. Ask Rockstar why they gave us such a broken game even in 2021 and the years past. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Zolico menu that came with your download. So all you have to do really is press F7. The downgrader installed the, the Zolico trainer for you if you selected that. And then with this trainer, you can do everything you can. Say if you played Grand Theft Auto V, you can uh, you know change your clothes, you can teleport, hop into vehicles, customize your vehicles, give yourself weapons, all kinds of cool wacky side activities, animations, speech behaviors, all kinds of cool stuff you can find in the Zulika menu. I'm not exactly gonna go over all of them right now because let's be real, I, I, I know. But uh, this is a video game and you don't have to follow my exact lead on settings. Do whatever you want, have fun, explore. The world is your oyster. I'm your guy, Barry High, and until the next video for four, goodbye. That was good. You should do it for a living.